All right, what is going on guys? As you can see here, today we're back out at the park with the FT Explorer, and I've got the four channel wing on here. You can see we've got our um, ailerons right here, and I also have some flaps to add just to try out and have some fun with. I doubt this plane even needs flaps. In fact, I know it doesn't need flaps, but that's just an added little benefit of having dual ailerons. You can set up flap rounds, which, which is what I did. As you can see today, we've got a GoPro on the front. This is my DV Power 4K action camera, as well as we have a micro FPV camera right up top, um, straight off my Inductrix FPV Plus. And you can see I've got a little one cell battery powering that. And on my transmitter right here, you can see that I've got uh, my plane uh, all hooked up. Um, so we can hopefully apply a little bit of FPV. Um, I'm not totally sure how this is going to work. We're going to start off line of sight for sure. Uh, but uh, let's just go ahead and get this thing started. Um, i got to make sure all my controls are going the right way. That would be a grave mistake to make. we got a little bit of breeze coming from my back. So let's just go ahead and launch it in the wind and see what happens. And this plane is already way more controllable than it was yesterday. Just having ailerons on it. Now we're in the FPV. And there's pretty good signal FPV from this plane. We gotta do a little bit of aileron trimming before we get too far along. This is a nice little FPV ship, I can already tell. It's pretty relaxed. It doesn't have a lot of power, but definitely has enough to get this thing moving. Here's my full speed pass. It is pretty loud. Being a pusher, I guess that's what you can expect, but... Just gonna work on some circles here. I'm gonna gain some altitude just um, so that we have a little bit more of a cushion here. Flying FPV now. Feels good FPV. Just gonna practice some circles right around me. You can, in my FPV feed, um, I do have it a little bit farther back than the camera that you're seeing right now. But nonetheless, it is flying well. And obviously, um, I would want to, have wanted to go for goggles, but I am doing line of sight and FPV in this case, so we're gonna we're gonna make sure that we can go up and back and forth from the screen. That's obviously a lot safer. But this four-channel wing is flying really well. Obviously, this Explorer just doesn't really like um, wind in general, just being such a large plane. I'm with uh, this generally lightweight. It's just a lot a larger. doing a little bit of coordinated turning here and you can see that it, it does fly really well especially um, with that coordinated turning and I'm really hoping that that camera's recording it was recording when we took off but it is not that consistent of a piece of equipment so hopefully it's gonna be okay in the end And as you can see, we have quite the bit of aileron throw there. Let's get a little bit more altitude and go back under the hood. It's hard because I can barely see the ground in the like shadows of this camera view especially flying directly into the sun there. Um, I did not bring another SD card to record for my uh, DVR footage. Unfortunately, I only brought two. I thought I brought three, but my GoPro said it didn't have an SD card in it, so we had to make a quick little compromise there. Not a big deal though, um, because you obviously do have that onboard footage anyway. But yeah, it does fly really well. Um, I might upgrade my prop to a higher pitch, like a nine by six rather than this uh, slow fly prop. So you can get a little bit more speed out of it, a little bit more punchiness. Um, in the throttle response, but other than that just doing some lazy circles around here And you can see that it is flying really well and it has a pretty mean glide slope as you can see We just are just bringing it right by here And it definitely slows down nice and quickly um, And then obviously there's just not too bad of stall characteristics on this plane as a whole 
So yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's not quite trimmed out. And there's that. Had a little bitty brown out there. That's that's not a good way to end the flight. Um, but let's go ahead and check out the damage. Okay, it looks like pretty much all intact. You can see we've got our FPV camera right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that for the time being. Um, but I don't know exactly what happened there. Looks like we just got a little bit of phone rip um, right here on the front. But other than that, I think we are still recording. Yes, that is awesome. Still recording on the DV Power Action Camera. Just a little bit of a brownout with this Spectrum AR6210 up here, which is not ideal. I'm gonna have to investigate this receiver but I get a lot of brown ass in this general area of the park anyways. So that's unfortunate, but I guess that's just how it's gonna work. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It did not end the way I would have liked it to, but that's okay. Hopefully it will still fly and live another day. But for now, that's all I have for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.